And I proceeded to walk around the floors and go upstairs and just peek around, make sure everything was in order. I remember going down that staircase. I did smell a little bit of a cigar smoke, and I know that Anna Whaley's uh, husband was a big cigar smoker, but I didn't want to tell him because he didn't believe in this at all. This is all ridiculous. This is kid stuff. So it ran into midnight. I said to him, let's turn out the lights and just keep this place in darkness. We went around, we turned off the lights everywhere in the place. Came back to the living room, which uh, had an, a, an archway of a doorway facing us where you could look into the next room. And I had the flashlight. And there we sat in darkness. So the hours went by and it must have been two o'clock in the morning and by this time, we're plunged in darkness. And of course, my friend, the tough Marine, was heckling me about how, how silly this is, what a waste of time it is. And then suddenly, he stopped talking. And he says, don't turn on the light. I looked up and looked through the archway. And there was this, this image illuminated in white it was almost like a transparent shape of a of, of a woman really not going down all the way to the floor just standing there and it was kind of like staring back at us the kind of stuff you see in the movies i knew this tough old marine had seen it too now he got on his hands and knees and he began crawling like he was approaching the enemy and he quietly pulled his way over the floor to the end of the room. And I got very, very, very excited because honestly, I thought somebody or something was there. And I knew what he was gonna do. He's a Marine, he's gonna go and tackle it, bring it down. I was just beside myself. So he got as close as he could. I couldn't stand it anymore. I held the light out there. and flipped on the flashlight. And there was nothing there. The colonel was very upset. I didn't follow his orders, not turning on the light. I went through all of that, took a good look against the wall. And there was a picture of a woman. The image was right smack up against the picture on that wall. And it was Anna Whaley.